Wind turbines are really big. Moving the blades around can be pretty tough. We delivered these turbines to an area that the road network, for example, was constructed for mostly residential use. And so delivering these turbine blades, which are each you know, 74 meters or you know, slightly more than 230 feet long, was a significant challenge. You'll notice they're on, on steep ridges, so uh, it involved constructing 13 miles of access roads up very steep terrain. That was no small feat. In fact, that's part of why we can't build the turbines bigger on land. But the bigger the turbine, the more electricity it creates. So we gotta go bigger. The solution? Build the turbines out in the ocean, where we don't need roads. Roads? Where we're going, we don't need roads. So how do we move these big blades from the factory where they're built to be installed at the wind farm? I came out to the New Bedford Marine Terminal to find out. This is the New Bedford Marine Commerce Terminal and this is where we're staging the project. And This is the first purpose-built marine commerce terminal in the U.S. for offshore wind and it's specifically built to carry the weight. So the, the facility will be able to hold 16 full sets of wind turbines. These things are so big, you can't even move them around on land. There's not enough space, the roads can't even accommodate them. The answer, put the factory by the ocean and ship the blades on huge vessels. So they're built by the ocean, they're shipped on the ocean, and they're unloaded by the ocean. They never leave the ocean. They're too big, you can't take them anywhere. In fact, factories for turbine components are even being built by rivers that access the ocean, like the Hudson River. Imagine how cool it'll look to see huge turbine blades sailing past the Manhattan skyline. Over there we have some blades uh, finally coming in. Those are the size of a football field. This is the first footage of the first blades arriving for Vineyard Wind, the first commercial scale offshore wind farm in the U.S. Back here is one of the blades for the wind turbines that they're going to be building. These blades traveled on this gigantic vessel all the way from the factory. It's essentially going to be a wall of blades sitting over here. Each diameter around is seven meters and they're going to be stacked three on top of each other standing 21 meters tall. The last component for this first wind turbine to arrive is called the nacelle. The nacelle itself is 800 metric tons. This is the big generator that the blades are attached to to spin. It's the size of a big office building. The components are lowered down onto this really long vehicle with tons and tons of wheels on it. It's like the craziest remote control car you've ever seen. What you see behind you is some SPMTs. They are a tool that they use to move things around the yard, whether it be blades, the nacelle, or anything. Those things have the ability to move around kind of like a caterpillar, so to speak, on the ground and uh, can get into all different positions. We'll be taking in all the materials here and uh, putting them together and putting them back on the barges and sending them out about 6, 16, 17 miles offshore. The blade assemblies will move from storage over to the feeder barge. Transporting them to the lease area, we'll put them into separate racks that are made in the U.S. out of Louisiana. They are stacked three on top of each other because each turbine takes three blades. We'll use the, the giant ring crane to put those on the barge before they're transitioned out there. And then the nacelle is pulled out of the storage area and then also pulled over to the feeder barge for loading. The ring crane, you know, it has to maintain at least a 60% capacity above its heaviest lift. The nacelle will be the heaviest lift that it has at that 800 metric tons. And of course, the guy behind me can certainly pick that thing up. You take a wind turbine generator, the tower, the nacelle, and the three blades, you deliver it from the Marine Commerce Terminal here in the Port of New Bedford, you deliver it 40 miles offshore to the construction site where it is then installed. These will go up in three sections 
and then the turbine nacelle, and then the blades will be placed on top. And then it comes back and we'll do that 62 times until all 62 turbines are installed.